All right, so this week we are going to be looking at some of the early things leading up to uh, the American Revolution. And so to, to begin that, we need to start a little bit before all of that to kind of talk about things that made colonists angry and led to them wanting to uh, separate from England. Um, so keep in mind, this week you do have normal vocabulary. You'll still have a quiz at the end of the week. I'm going to give you the gist of what's going on here. Um, and then you'll have some other assignments and things that you need to do, okay? So keep an eye out on Google Classroom for all those things, okay? Um, but just to give uh, a brief overview here, this is still during the French and Indian War. Um, the British send over a new commander, Lord Jeffrey Amherst, okay? Um, and unlike the French, he's really mean and unnecessarily cruel to the Native Americans. And he starts to, or they, they have been used to the French bringing them gifts and having feasts and that sort of thing. And then he shows up and he doesn't do any of that. And he actually is very hostile. He gives out um, blankets with smallpox and, uh, you know, he's killing people and that sort of thing. And so they become very angry. Um, and another chief, Chief Pontiac, he kind of gets a bunch of the tribes together and they start running raids and attacks on forts and things that uh, Lord Amherst runs. Um, and so they do a lot of fighting. Pontiac is pretty successful, because, especially because he has the, the support of the French. And so they're able to kill quite a few troops and take over a lot of forts in the Ohio area. So this, this is all taking place in Ohio. All right. Um, in the end, the British win the French and Indian War. And so Pontiac uh, loses the support of the French because they have to withdraw. And so without that support, their group kind of breaks apart and they all kind of go back to their own native lands instead of working together. And that opens up the British to be able to take over the whole area. Um, England, the country, but the, I mean, the king, they issue the proclamation of 1763, which says that you can't settle on the west side of the Appalachian Mountains. This is mostly to protect the Native Americans from new settlers as kind of like a peace agreement. Um, it's also because out there in the, the frontier, the British government is not able to protect its people as well. And so it's kind of to protect both sides. However, the colonists feel like because they won the war, that they deserve to go and take that land and spread out, especially because there's some resources there that are starting to become scarce on the coast. And so a lot of people ignore this um, and just go out and settle in those areas anyway. Um, one of the famous examples is Daniel Boone. He goes out there and he kind of leads the way. Uh, he goes on a two-year expedition and establishes like a path for getting over the mountains and into the Ohio Valley that a lot of people follow. And he becomes one of the most famous settlers from this time period. Okay, so that's kind of the general gist of what's going on. Um, oh, also during the proclamation of 1763, England send over more troops to the colonies to help enforce this, which causes higher taxes on the colonists. So now they're paying extra taxes to support troops to enforce a rule that they don't agree with. So now they're paying money to support something that they don't want to support. And so that is one of the earliest things that's starting to make colonists really mad toward England, um, and especially because they don't really have any say in it. This is where that taxation or that representation feeling starts. Okay, so that's kind of a gist, and we'll get some more details there. But keep an eye out on Google Classroom for uh, assignments and other videos like this. All right.